Today we will show you how to create a Wi-Fi mesh network between two Teltonica Networks devices, RUTX11, which will act as our mesh gateway, and RUT956, taking the role of a mesh node. Note that this configuration is done on the RUTOS 7.04 version, so if your firmware is older than that, make sure to update it first. Let's begin by establishing a Wi-Fi mesh configuration on the mesh gateway, our RUTX11 cellular router. First, log into your device's web UI and turn on the advanced web UI mode. Go to your network tab and press on interfaces. In the network interfaces section, go to your LAN network and press on the edit icon. Here, scroll down to the DHCP server section and in the general setup window, make sure DHCP is enabled. This step is crucial as it will allow the gateway to distribute IP addresses to the mesh nodes. Now scroll back up to the interfaces section. In the general settings window, you need to check if the IPv4 address and its netmask, which are entered automatically, are what you intend to use. While you can choose any address, make sure that the IPv4 address and the netmask have not been used before. This precaution helps to avoid any mix-ups or subnet conflicts between your network interfaces. If you are satisfied with the IP address and its netmask, click Save and Apply. Since the device's IP address has changed, you will need to log into your router's web UI again. After that, go into the Network tab and press on the Wireless section. Here you can choose with which Wi-Fi frequency you would like to create your mesh network. For this example, let's choose the 2.4 GHz frequency. On the standard product interface, press the Edit button. In the General Setup window, go to the ESSID section and enter any kind of name you would like for easier management purposes. Let's move to the Wireless Security window, and here choose a WPA2 PSK Wi-Fi encryption type. This step enables us to create a password for your network, which ultimately makes your Wi-Fi network publicly inaccessible. Next to the Cypher section, select the Force TPK and CCMP AES algorithm, which is responsible for the encryption and decryption of the login data. Then in the Password section, create a password that will be used for further configuration and connection of products. This includes both mesh network nodes and endpoint devices that attempt to connect to this network like a smartphone. Press Save and Apply. Stay right where you are because now you need to create one more interface belonging to the same 2.4 GHz frequency. Press the Add button and this time in the General Setup window choose to have a mesh mode. Enter any kind of number you would like in the Mesh ID section for easier identification and management purposes. Note that Mesh ID will need to be identical in all devices. Move to the Advanced Settings window and enable the Forward Mesh Peer Traffic button. Then, set the RSSI threshold for joining, by preference to specify the signal strength at which level the endpoint device connected to the network will automatically switch to another closest mesh node. Afterward, go to the Wireless Security window and choose the WPA3 SAE option as your encryption type. Type in the same password you've set before, and press Save and Apply. For the last part of the mesh gateway configuration, you need to edit the global settings in the Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz frequency tab. The changes you make here will apply to all existing 2.4 GHz interfaces. In the new general setup window, manually change the channel of the operating frequency. Here you can also choose any channel for your mesh network. This step is done just to pick the channel that every participant in the mesh network, including the gateway and nodes, will use to communicate with one another. Press Save and Apply, and you're done with the gateway's configuration. Now let's configure our RUT956, the mesh network node. Make sure to turn on the advanced mode in the web UI, go to the network tab, and select the wireless section. And perform the same steps as you previously did for the mesh gateway device. The ESSID name in the General Setup window and the encryption type, cipher, and password in the Wireless Security window need to be identical to the Mesh Gateway information. Press Save and Apply, and just for the Mesh Gateway you need to create a new interface under the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi Frequency tab. So press the Add button. In the General Setup window, select Mesh Mode and enter the same Mesh ID as the Gateway's one. 
Then in the advanced settings window, enable the forward mesh peer traffic, and in the RSSI threshold for joining, type in the same number as you did for the mesh gateway. Also, make sure to go to the wireless security window and select the WPA3 SAE encryption type. Type in the same password you've set before and press save and apply. Now let's edit the global Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz settings by selecting the same channel as we did previously. If you choose a different channel, this configuration will not work because devices will try to communicate with each other on different channels and fail to do so. Press save and apply. Go to your network tab and press on interfaces. Here we also need to edit your LAN network, so press the edit button. In the general settings window, find the protocol section and choose the DHCP protocol. This lets the device get an IP address from the mesh gateway. Press save and apply. Afterward, your IP will change to a random DHCP address. You can check this address by accessing the mesh gateway device, in this case the RUTX11, and navigating to status, pressing on the network section, and clicking on LAN. In the DHCP leases section, look for the host name labeled RUT956. There you can find the device's IP address. If you want to see whether your configuration was successful, enter your Mesh Gateways web UI and press on the Network tab and select Wireless. Next to the client's line, you can see a number of devices belonging to your mesh network. But keep in mind that this number includes all devices connected to the network, like the phone we mentioned earlier. You can also check what devices are in your new mesh network by going to the Status tab, pressing on the Network section and clicking on LAN. Scroll down to see the DHCP leases section, and here you'll see a list of all the devices that are part of your mesh network. 